Telling you there champs and welcome to the show and, and today I will be reviewing QNAP's TS453A Network Attached Storage or NAS. Now this is a mid to high end NAS. It's great for consumers who want multimedia content like 4K streaming, Plex, Kodi, stuff like that. But it's also great for businesses, small businesses. It has four gigabit network ports at the back, so it can definitely handle a small business workload as well. Just running over some of the features, this is really great for virtualization. Supports VMware, Citrix, Microsoft, Hyper-V, and advanced virtualization features such as AES, NI, hardware encryption. So it supports hardware encryption and you don't take much of a hit in the performance department if you have encryption enabled. It supports 4K H.264 on the fly encoding of videos. So it's great for Plex, great for Kodi, great for multimedia content. You also get a remote with this. So it's great as a multimedia device. You can hook this up to your TV and just use the remote, it's great. It has dual HDMI so you can duplicate or extend your screen. So you can use it as a standalone computer too. You can run Ubuntu on it, as well as connecting it to another monitor and using it as a NAS or as a multimedia device. Also, one thing that gets overlooked in this, it actually has a 24-bit digital to analog or DAC amplifier inside. So it actually has its own DAC, so that means you're going to get the best audio quality out of this. Okay, let's run through the specs then. It's obviously a 4-bay NAS. It has an Intel Serilon N. 3150 1.6 GHz quad core processor which can burst up to 2 GHz and what it also has is Intel's 8th generation graphic so that's why it can encode 4K content and this processor also supports hardware accelerated AESNI encryption so you won't take much of a hit in performance when you have your volume or folders encrypted. So it support RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, RAID 10, 5 plus hot spare and JBOD. And it also supports volume and LUN snapshot, snapshot clone, snapshot vault, snapshot replica and snapshot agent for Windows and VM sphere. It can also be expanded to 12 enclosures using the UX800P. You can also expand it with the UX500P. We know you can use it as a standalone PC using Linux Ubuntu, which is the best Linux distribution in my opinion. You can stream all your multimedia files via DLNA, AirPlay, Chromecast, etc. This comes with 4GB RAM, has two slots. It's upgradable to 8GB RAM. You can get an 8GB model. Cost around $750 Australian, something like that. Around $600 US and around 350 pounds and you can get this from span.com who deliver worldwide i recommend them i have no affiliation with them but they're really good for buying nas products so the great thing about this processor is it actually uses less power but it still has all the hardware capabilities of accelerating encryption and encoding 4k content so that's great it has 512 megabytes flash storage it's hot swappable with three and a half or two and a half inch SATA hard drives. Over here it has a LED screen and this will give you at a glance information about what's going on with your NAS. Comes in at 177 by 180 by 235 millimeters. Weighs 3.6 kilograms or eight pounds. Its power consumption is 1.61 watts in sleep mode, 18.86 watts in hard drive standby mode and in operation it uses about 32.35 watts so it's very power efficient for the power it has it's really good and it's definitely a step up from the 451 plus it's a very good looking unit it's very well finished it's plastic on the front signed by QNAP here it has a brushed aluminium finish so it's definitely a premium device even on the back you have a metallic finish on the back plate Again on this side the beautiful brushed aluminium finish and these beautiful cool looking vent there. So overall compared to the 451 Plus it's definitely a step up in build quality. Even the drive bays are made out of metal, they have plastic levers there but the actual drive bays themselves are made out of metal so that's even another step up in quality. And by the way if you're going to use a NAS make sure you get NAS hard drives 
I recommend the WD Reds. I reckon they're the best bang for buck. You do not want to get consumer grade hard drives because NAS hard drives, they have special firmware and this in this case, this has NASware 3.0 and it's a special firmware that is made for the NAS environment. So the way a NAS reads and writes and error corrects, it's the firmware is made specially for that. They're also made to be more tolerant of vibration, heat and noise and stuff like that. So you definitely want to get NAS hard drives and I recommend the WD Reds but make sure you at least get NAS hard drives. So as you can see, the, the drives come in and out very easily as well. So you have the LED screen there, and then you have the button here to control the LED screen. You have the power button there. You have a USB 3 and the one touch copy button there. These are obviously the drive bays. So on the back here, you have two microphone jacks here for karaoke, and I'm not kidding, you can use this as karaoke. You have the speaker out, you have your two HDMI ports, you have three USB 3 ports, and you have four gigabit ethernet ports as well. So, so this has a huge amount of bandwidth. We're talking 400 megabytes per second read and write. It's great for an office environment where multiple people are hitting this NAS at once or even in your house when you have a lot of people trying to access content. You have the power jack there and you have this 12 centimeter fan and it's very quiet. In actual fact, you won't even hear the fan. The only thing you'll really hear on this device is the hard drives. As I said, it's performance great. You can get up to 414 megabytes read and 436 megabytes write. And even with AES encryption enabled, it's not much slower. Of course, you have to use all the four Ethernet ports to get that sort of bandwidth and compatible switch that can work with this NAS. I think its main strength is its multimedia abilities, being able to transcode 4K content, great for Plex, Kodi, etc. And the fact that it has a remote and you can just use it as a multimedia device is great. Just remember, this is a NAS and it's going to back up all your data you can sync all your devices to this, so all your mobile phones, your computers, time machines, stuff like that. You can sync everything with this. You can even sync this to cloud services like Dropbox, Google Drive, etc. And you can connect to it remotely as well. So you can always have access to your files. So I think it's worth remembering, even though this is a multimedia machine, it does what a NAS is supposed to do. So QTS as a web interface is very easy to use. It's easy to set up everything on your NAS to set up your volume. I'll be making more videos on this later and more videos on the features of it. And even though it's simple, this has so many advanced features on it. And anyone that's really into networking, virtualization, you can run servers on it. it has snapshot technology, disaster recovery solutions. So if you're really into networking and virtualization, this NAS has you covered, but it's still simple enough for the ordinary user to use QTS and just set up things simply like backing up and setting up your media content. And as I said, I have more videos on that. So it can be your hub for your multi-user environment, whether you're using Apple, Windows, Linux, it can become your central hub for cross-platform file sharing, centralized data storage, file synchronizations across multiple devices and the cloud and it uses QTS 4.2 which is a very easy to use and simple web interface. In QTS you have that powerful Q search which is like Spotlight. You have all the QTS essential multimedia apps like your photo station, note station, music station and video station. So there's no doubt for multimedia you're covered. You also have surveillance station too. So you have a comprehensive surveillance solution and you get four free IP camera channels. Not only that, in QTS 4.2, if you go to the app center, you can greatly expand and extend the features and functionality of this NAS. So performance has been rock solid. It's super fast. We told you it gets around 400 megabytes per second read and write. That's what QNAP claim, I believe it. I bonded three Ethernet connections together and I hit this NAS from multiple clients and I was getting somewhere in the region of 250 to 300 megabytes per second. Now, if I bonded four together, obviously I'll get that extra, that extra Ethernet connection and I certainly believe 
QNAPS claims that it can do 400 megabytes per second. Now it's got all these multimedia functions and you can run it as a dual OS, you can run Ubuntu on it. But thing is, there's no point doing all this stuff if, if it comes at the cost of stability of the NAS backing up your data, its primary function. And I can say, and I was slamming it with reads and writes and it never failed once, no dropouts, no crashes. So I can definitely say it's rock solid. We already know QNAP are one of the big guns in the NAS department and it's something you can trust. Overall, my conclusion is at this price point, I don't think you'll find another NAS with as many hardware features and software features, period. It's well finished, its build quality is great, but more importantly, it's rock solid, it performs fast and it's just loaded with features. So, so there you have it. That's my review of QNAP's TS-453A. If you have any questions, leave them down there in the comments. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because I've got a lot more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally-ho.